All right, so we have to have a conversation about this one. It boils down to this one thing that I've been saying for a couple of years at this point. Enough with the excuses, enough with the kids' gloves. I have absolutely no sympathy, no patience, no understanding for violent criminal behavior and criminal behavior in general. This sort of la-di-da, kumbaya, the problem's gonna fix itself shtick that we've seen from the Democrats these days. This ideology that criminals are actually victims and all they need is a hug and some love to no, turn their no, lives around. Not at all. Or that actually their criminal behavior is due to hunger and they're just stealing loaves of bread as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told us, and if we defund the police, that the world's gonna become one big green grass, white picket fence suburb. Wrong. This ideology has got to stop. Yeah. And it's moments like these, or it's stories like these, that really drive that frustration home. We have a young man who was walking around parks randomly sucker punching people in the back of the head, just for the lols, you know, just for the TikTok clout. And some of the commentary surrounding this whole thing, including the interview of the young man himself is just so mind-numbing, so frustrating, so immoral that I had to make a video. We have to have a conversation about this. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so here's the news reporting question. This is what's going viral everywhere. Teen admits to randomly sucker-punching strangers at Texas Park for social media attention. Quote, everybody makes mistakes. Please. Look at this. Thank you. New developments in a story we first brought to you on Friday night. A 19-year-old who was seen on video randomly punching people in Wortham Park is now facing charges. This video was first shared with KHOU 11 via the next door app. It shows Alfred Lewis striking a man in the head before he turns around in shock. Now oh Lewis is gosh. facing charges for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and also assault. And he robbed Lewis people? is not in custody right now, but there are warrants not out for his custody. arrest. So we have a young man, 19 years old, walking around in a public park. And in, and in. And then, like a pump, you gonna look how you gonna do one of them punch from the side where you close, you close fist and get somebody from the inside knuckle. And first of all, if you if if you if you're a real fighter out there, right, you gonna punch from up here. You hit like you coming in like a girl. And then, if you're a real man, catch them from the front. Go to the front and just start fighting with folks and see how you doing. And you lucky that a person done because some people. Like myself, I prefer to I prefer to do them walks to a weapon. So you lucky, you lucky that a person just go pull that because they would have had every right. And then you in the state of Texas, you would have had every right to protect yourself. And that boy would have been been dealt with his fate. And the thing is, you know, it's everybody makes mistakes. Come what mistake? On this boy, well and good and good and old enough this and ex, doing this on purpose. I just you know ain't no ain't no can't mistake. understand it. You ain't know. no mistake. No, no. He this? needs to pay for his crime. Absolutely. Yes. Salting elderly people. He claims elderly. he elderly. made a mistake. People what people didn't see was that I themselves. shook his hand and gave him a hug. Oh, well, oh, <laughs> no please. worries there. Hey, I pistol whipped this guy in the street and kicked him in the balls, but then I patted him on the head and said, nice job, right. broski. No harm, no foul. It was just a mistake. Don't at me on social media. What world are we living in where Hook. this kind of behavior it's can become acceptable. as pervasive as it is? Right. And I think that's the right word, pervasive. This isn't the first time we've seen this kind of nonsense. We've seen it many times before. In fact, we've seen young people going on violent rampages in some major cities. I think at one point there was a story, I think from out of Chicago, where a group of youngsters were randomly assaulting homeless people on the streets, and one of those homeless men ended up passing away. You know, the question mm. that I'm asking myself is, when are we gonna start taking this stuff seriously? Because it's not just, you know, random instances like this. It's the assaults, the robberies, the carjacking. But people are taking it mm -hmm. seriously when they get the right people. Yep. And see, they know to attack the people who may not be able to fight back. Right. But go and attack somebody your age like that or a younger adult or someone who, who's a fit senior. It's going to be a different story because right. everybody does not walk around without a weapon. Correct. And you live by your sin. You're going to die by your sin. He continues to go down that road. He's going to meet his fate. He's going to walk up to the wrong person. Yep. And then then they're going to want to charge the victim for defending themselves. That's the twist of society that we live in right now. And you you already seen what happened at the in New York in that apartment complex with the the dude that the people that had a noise complaint. Yeah, that was sad. So that was really sad.
attacking the Kia boys, which is a story we covered not too long ago. The looting, the rioting, I mean, the list just goes on and on for Pete's sakes. We just saw a crash robbery in Los Angeles. I mean, this is one of the most psychotic, brazen acts of violence and, and abuse of law-abiding citizens out in public, out in daylight that I've ever seen. Take a look at this. I thought I was on a movie set. I thought I was, I thought I was on a movie set. I, was, I thought, that, like, they were gonna say lights, camera, action. This is what John, who for security reasons wants to stay anonymous, is talking about. The moment he mm. pulled up Tuesday afternoon, phone camera recording, and saw four guys with ski masks and identical outfits pouring out of a black Dodge Caravan inhumane. and running on the eastbound 10 freeway this to pull inhumane. off what CHP confirms was and literally highway robbery. had anything to defend themselves. You ain't even in the state of mind to defend and yourself. And they don't look they and they don't look like any of them were holding guns so that they're holding bad just go rob. What the hell? Could you see well, the I mean, weapons? I, I don't know, but regardless, the people who, you know, if you in a crash, that was a crash. You know, you're trying to get your thoughts together because you've been jarred. You don't know yep. if you hurt. You don't yep. know what's going on. Your your brain ain't even processing everything yet. And then some dudes are coming. And then so, and, and 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 exactly, it's like this. I mean, this is really crazy. And see, the state we live in has ridiculous rules. So whereas we would have been like in Georgia, or Texas, Arizona, or something like that, you right there, you could you probably you know you might have your gun on you and stuff like that where. There ain't going to be no gun in sight in California for the most part. And you're supposed to keep your gun in your trunk. In your trunk. Bro, that's ridiculous. Scored a black Alfa Romeo that CHP says they intentionally crashed using the tools to they smash the windows. It. They seem to focus on the trunk as the driver is on his knees, hands in the air. What kind of Armageddon like stuff is this? He was, they knew what he had. As soon as he knew he couldn't get away, he did the next best thing. He put his hands up and let them take, take or allegedly take whatever they could. That's horrible. Guys in masks, and that's it. They took, they they ransacked something, and they took off. John says he'd started recording a few minutes before when I seen a car flying right past me with a flat tire and another black SUV, all tint, chasing him. The tire was sparking. He was like he wanted to get away, like he he was running for his life. He followed. They were just recklessly moving through the lane. And soon caught up with the chaos on the side of the freeway. He saw the suspect's black van, the victim's crashed car, a red Mustang that CHP says was also hit, and then this white Chevy Malibu, the getaway this car. Is but it was all real. Incredible. It was real life. This is just how it goes down in Los Angeles. Crashing. You never know. That's a little bit of the aftermath, Path. but you Path can tell they LA. ran the guy off the road and then took him for everything he's got. When are we going to say enough is enough? Right. You know, obviously there's a green light here. Young people are committing these acts of violence because they know that they could get away with it. That they could say, oh, it was just a mistake. You know, a momentary lapse in judgment. My bad. Please. I gave the guy a hug. We don't see remorse. We mm -mm. don't see a care in the world. And the most frustrating part is that we don't see accountability. I'm exactly. seeing comments that are just, you know, rotting my brain. People in the comment section under the New York Post article tweeted on Twitter, or rather X'd on X, saying stuff like the kids should do community service. Oh, please. Are you insane? Exactly. Community service. <laughs> it was just a mistake. He's 19 years old. He's Send him to jail. He's attacking elderly people yes. indiscriminately on the street. He could take somebody's life. You know, we're not talking about a joke here. It's just a prank, bro. We're talking about a horrendous crime done purposely yeah. with intent to harm. We got to stop with the whole criminals are victims thing. Yep. If you assault somebody randomly on the street like that, you deserve time in prison and arguably a significant time in prison. There has to be some sort of moral standard if we are to maintain a civilized society and culture. You go to foreign nations like Japan, Singapore, South Korea, China. No, I'm mainly naming Asian countries own. because it seems like like really when it comes to this kind of stuff you know in their culture there's zero tolerance for criminal behavior zero. in general and that's because they police things that's because they actually enforce laws in japan you could barely get away with riding on a train for free they got people mm. checking everyone's tickets up and down the train and wow. even if the fare is cheap even if you try to get a free bus ride you're gonna get in trouble you're <laughs> gonna get caught they're gonna report you to the police. See? There's no ridiculous ideology of like, oh, calling the police on people committing crimes if their skin color is different than mine is actually that racism. Goofiness. There's no misdemeanors Please. for violent crimes. Mm -mm. There's no revolving door of the justice system. Slap on the wrist. Please don't do it again. There's no 
defund the police movement, allowing criminals to run rampant, looting stores and roaming gangs of young thugs. We have to apply a basic societal standard that crime is not okay, and violent crime is especially not okay, and that anybody who engages in any of these types of behaviors will not only not get away with it, but will receive adequate justice, I'd argue even harsh justice. The idea that we live in a society where in certain states people can steal goods and not even be pursued, or steal goods and be out on bail the next day, where eventually the charges most of the time get freaking dropped, the idea that we live in that kind of society is morally, crazy. logically, for me just doesn't sit right. It's not normal to park your car in Los Angeles or San Francisco to come back with your car windows smashed. I don't know, five out of 10 times. Mm. That is not normal. That mm -mm. is not acceptable. And honestly, if you ask me, I think it's time that we launch another massive campaign against crime. Some that's people might right. say that it failed the first time. Yeah. It's naive and it's never gonna work. But I don't think that's the case. If you look at Rudy Giuliani's New York, the results speak for themselves. If you look at the massive decrease in crime from the 1990s to present day, but especially the 2010s, again, the results speak for themselves. We're repeating history. We're pulling back instead of finishing the job. And who are the victims in that? that case, law-abiding citizens, That's people right. trying to walk in a park, people parking their car in the wrong place, business owners who are being held at gunpoint and in some cases losing their lives, people who are being assaulted while taking public transportation in major cities, people whose businesses are being run over by homeless encampments. The list goes on and on and on. Enough is enough. It's That's time right. for zero tolerance. Because obviously, these young kids committing these acts show no remorse. None. They don't care. They the don't. only way to solve this problem is to implement a culture of accountability. In other words, consequences. Amen. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Just my reaction, my thought to this absolutely insane little news segment here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Man.